I like going this way. It's a lot better than standing in line with all the geeks. <laughs> Let's focus up. Let's focus up. <laughs> Woo! Baby, no! Opportunity is knocking on the door once again, thanks to the New York Giants in association with the DeVito family on a three game winning streak. We are <laughs> real all the way in. Opportunity is knocking. Question is, are you ready for it? Are you ready for opportunity? Opportunity is a scary thing, baby doll. Means you gotta take chances, you gotta take risk when those chan when those opportunities come knocking. Sometimes it can be a little scary. Sometimes you can go all the way real in and then get let down. See, there's a line drawn amongst the Giants fan base. There's a there's those on this side. We want to win. We're the old guard. We love Giants football. We support Giants football. Giants football doesn't matter how pretty it is. We just want to win. We don't have to have the big names. We just want to win. There's this side. They want hype trains. They want so-called number one picks and all the stuff that the boogers that they eat, those geeks. They are currently sitting on the couch. And see, what they're doing, baby doll, is they're waiting for our train to be derailed. They're waiting for us to be let down so they can say, Ha ha! Told you so! But, we will not worry about those geeks. We don't care. They can do whatever they want to do. We will do what simply we want to do. And what we want to do is we want to win, period. And I got to be honest with you, baby doll. The reason why it's so important to beat the New Orleans Saints this weekend is because I want the opportunity to play against the Philadelphia Eagles, and it means something. Because, see, I started at one point this season, started to think that, man, these Eagle games late in the year, they don't mean nothing. And Eagle fans will come to my page, and they will tell me that, ha-ha, Pizzle, you talking crazy, boo-boo. You talking crazy. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Thelma and Lee... Thelma and Louise, they drove off the cliff. Let me drive off it as well. <laughs> With that being said, I want to beat the Saints, and I want everything to be on the line Christmas Day. That's what I want. Call me selfish, call me whatever you want, but that's what I want. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm looking ahead and not thinking about the New Orleans Saints. I understand. I understand what the issues are, right? We're coming off of a short week. We're coming off of a big win, a three-game winning streak. We're taking, obviously, Tommy DeVito, who's a backup quarterback, into a place in New Orleans that is a nice home field for the Saints. But they're not that great of a team. 
And with that being said, we've got a huge game on deck with the Eagles, right? Because even if we do lose to the Saints, we can still mess up some plans for the Eagles long term this season, right? We can mess up first uh, 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 home field advantage, all that good stuff. We can still, there are things on the table for us. But see, I want things to be on the table that's good for us, baby doll. Mm -hmm. Not just what's bad for them. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. Here's why the New York Giants have changed. See, there are people out there, baby doll, that they want to they want to sit here and tell you that, oh, they want to make this about Daniel Jones. And I'm not here to defend Daniel Jones or tell you what Daniel Jones is, Daniel Jones that. But this is what I know, baby doll. And this is the common New York Giants fan. This is the Giants fan that simply always calls it like it sees it. For 17 years, the locust. Running, raining, New York John Channel in a whole down your game. That's called Pizzle. No hidden agendas, baby doll. Just coming on here supporting the New York Giants. Loving the New York Giants. That's just all it is, right? Accent, whatever you want to make of it. It is what it is. You cut me wide open. I bleed big blue. Now, the thing is, baby doll, is the New York Giants are healthy now. We're the most healthy as we've been all year long. Start early in the year, we didn't have Andrew Thomas. And here's the thing. Everybody openly admitted in the offseason that the best player on the offense was Andrew Thomas. Wasn't the quarterback. It wasn't the running back. It was Andrew Thomas. A franchise left tackle. We all went, we all went crazy when he wasn't on some list. Because we all said he's great. He is great. All of a sudden now, the offensive line is playing well. They're figuring it out. It's as if, baby doll, they finally understood how to work together. Imagine that. They didn't have any seasoning to them, but they figured it out. Saquon Barkley, he's healthy now. Was banged up at the start of the year. Missing some games, right? Now, a guy like Daniel Jones, he doesn't get that excuse. He doesn't, he doesn't get the, you know, every other quarterback in the league, if their star running back goes out or one of their best players on the offense goes out, they get that excuse. But Daniel doesn't get it. He doesn't get Andrew Thomas being out and Saquon Barkley being out. But see, those guys are in. What does that mean, baby doll? I'm going to say a catchy phrase that's been, that's been said a lot. Andrew Thomas matters. Saquon Barkley matters. Wondell Robinson, who clearly had a huge game Monday night, guess what? He was banged up. He didn't start the year off right. He didn't start the year off healthy. Guess what? Wondell Robinson matters. Jalen Hyatt, baby doll, he's starting to figure it out. He's coming along, a rookie receiver, getting some seasoning to him, understanding how to be a pro. Jalen Hyatt matters. Defense playing good. Defense figuring it out. Defense matters. Mondale, Dable, their button hats, good. 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 I don't understand why this is a bad thing, baby doll. Why is it the two alpha males who are mad and upset about how the season's going? Why can't they just be like lions in the jungle and say, hey, let's figure this out. Man on man. The world is soft, baby doll. That's why. Oh, if you have an argument, you know what you do in today's society? You hit the block button. I'm blocking them. I can't talk to them anymore. I have to find my safe space. That's not how men handle it. Oh, but baby doll, Pizzle's corny. Pizzle's not a 60-minute man. <laughs> okay, okay. The bottom line, baby doll, is is that as a fan, you can prove yourself when your team isn't doing so good. It's easy to sit here when your team is 8-2 and two and say, oh, I'm a big fan. I love my team. I support my team. I just bought a new hat. I just bought a new T-shirt with my team logo on it.
but it's the real ones who when your team's two and eight, when your team's two and eight, getting kicked in the nuts every week, that's the real ones. They still support, they still love, they are the ones that deserve a three-game winning streak. They're the ones that deserve to keep feeling good about winning. Pizzle, why are you yelling? What's wrong with you? Are you unhinged? Are you triggered? Are you feeling some kind of way? Get in there, John. Get in there. Because whether you don't like Pizzle or whether you want to tank, I still love you. I still love you. Now, Let's go into Sunday as healthy as ever and let's kick the New Orleans Saints in the teeth. What do you say? And then let's go with Santa Claus down to Philly and handle business. But first, we're going to go down to the Big Easy. All the DeVito bunch. We got to do a hit. All right? We're taking people out and we're handing out tips. You understand me? Everybody's getting a tip. All right? Giant fans, if you're a real one this weekend, all right, you go down to New Orleans, you're knocking people's teeth out, and you're handing out tips. All right? Let's go. We're in the winning business. Never forget that. And if you ain't winning, you ain't got no business up in here. All right? 60 minutes. Pizzle loves you. Go Big Blue. Let's go!